So in this video, I hope to just give you a little bit of a clear idea of radian measure and how that has come about. So let's consider a circle and let's have a radius of one unit. Now, if I was wanting to find the circumference of this circle, then I would use two times pi times the radius. And that would give me one full revolution. But because my radius is one unit, then my whole circumference is just two pi. Now, if I think about this in terms of degrees, one revolution of essentially what my unit circle is, 360 degrees, is actually 2 pi. So let's imagine that I own, instead of doing one whole revolution, I only went halfway. So that means that I've only travelled an arc length of 180 degrees. So essentially, that would just be pi. Let's imagine that we only travelled a quarter of the circumference. So that would be 90 degrees as an arc length over 90 degrees, and we would only travel pi on 2. So now we can start to see a little bit of a pattern. Again, travelling 45 degrees would be half of that again, which would be pi on 4. But let's consider if we have a larger circle. So if we have a larger circle that has, um, say, a radius of three units, again, one whole revolution would just be the circumference of that circle which would be 2 pi times 3. So we've still travelled 360 degrees. And essentially we want to keep this fact that 2 pi is 360 degrees. So hopefully we realise that the angle that we're actually talking about, we call our angle theta, that we want to be 360 degrees, that we want to be 2 pi, is going to have to be the arc length that we've just travelled compared to the radius of that circle. So we're comparing a ratio. Our arc length was 2 pi times 3 compared to a radius of 3. And so the angle that we have travelled in terms of radian, radians is 2 pi. If we go back to our unit circle and we compare the angle that we've covered in one revolution, it was 2 pi times 1 over a radius of 1. So the angle we've covered is 2 pi. I'm going to put a little r to remind myself that I'm using radians, although we're talking in circles. So essentially in this format we would consider it radians. Although what they used to um, essentially use is um, a little C at the top, but you know, that can get slightly confusing. So we tend to put an R or write 2 pi radians. So hopefully that sort of gives you a little bit of a, a background to the fact that when we're talking about a full revolution of a circle, in degrees it's 360, but in terms of radians, we're looking at the ratio of the arc length to the radius. So what have we established as a fact? Most definitely that in degrees, 360 degrees is worth 2 pi radians. So 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. And this is probably like the main fact that we like to keep in our mind and that we use in our conversions. We can keep going and say, so 90 degrees is pi on 2. And then I like to think about some of the other angles we use in our exact trig ratios, which is 45 degrees, so that would be pi on 4. And another one that we use is 
60 degrees. So if we think about 60 degrees, well that's just 2 pi, or 360 degrees, cut into 6, so it would be pi on 3. Now if we think about this, we're talking about a circle, let's consider this 0 degrees, and as we travel round, we've got 60 degrees, we've got 120 degrees, and then we've got our 180 degrees, which we know as pi. So there's our thirds, pi on 3, or 60 degrees, and so 120 would be 2 pi on 3. And our other fact we know is, we like to know is 30 degrees, and that's going to be uh, half of this one, so it will be pi on 6. Okay, so now that we've established that, we really want to talk about you know, how do we actually get this conversion nicely. Hopefully we've got a bit of a feel for it. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at some examples. So let's say um, we've got um, 135 degrees. So we've got that um, out of 180 degrees, and we want to find what it is in terms of radians, in terms of pi radians. So we want this fraction, 135 out of 180, lots of pi. So we, we can see that there's a common factor here of 45. 45 goes into 135 three times. So we can say that goes in three times, and 45 goes into 184 times. So we would have 3 pi on 4. Again, we could look at, say, 80 degrees. We want that of pi radians out of our 180 degrees. And in looking at this, we would say that we've got a common, we can get rid of these zeros, we've got a common factor of or 20, so 20 goes into 84 times and to 189. So 80 degrees is 4 pi on 9 radians. So essentially, if we want to go from degrees to radians, our key is 2 times by pi on 180. So that's the main thing that we need to remember here. We grab our angle, so let's call that theta in degrees, and that will give us our radian value. So to go back, let's suggest we've got radians, so let's um, do a nice simple one. Let's do pi on 4. So that's, we want to know pi on 4 out of pi radians and lots of 180 degrees. So our pi's are going to cancel and 180 on 4, well that's going to be 45 degrees. And thinking about using that 0 around to pi, cut into 4 pieces, and thinking about that essentially this is 180 degrees, a quarter of that is going to be 45. And so let's have a think of another one. Let's do 2 pi on 5 radians. So out of pi radians, we want that fraction and lots of 180 degrees to get it back into degrees. Our pi's are going to cancel. We've got 2 times 180 which is 360 divided by 5 so that will be 72 degrees so 2 pi on 5 radians is 72 degrees so essentially to convert from radians back to degrees we're going to start with our pi angle on with radians and we're going to say well out of pi radians, get that fraction, lots of 180 degrees, and that will give us then our angle in degrees. 
So again, that's really important. And what you'll notice is that these two relate really, really nicely to each other. That when we're moving between the different versions, we're just going to flip that, that conversion fraction, essentially. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of a clearer understanding um, of radian measure and, and how radians is a way, another angle measure essentially that relates to um, how big the circle is. So we're comparing the arc length or the circumference compared to its radius. So obviously the unit circle, a revolution, the whole circumference is 360 degrees is 2 pi. Whereas if we have a large circle, then the radian measure of the angle of the whole thing is in comparison to how large its radius is.